course, I went to GameStop. And if you didn't know, this is the end of October and uh, a certain annual release that comes out every single end of October, early November just came out and I'm a sucker for it. So I buy it every year. Well, the sign's a little worse for the wear, but I'm finally back at this value pond. And I brought the uh, Game Hunt cam with me this time. So let's go in and see if uh, they've restocked in games. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, I had a few games I wanted to look at. Um, those two, the two games for a dollar, <laughs> on the right there. I'll look at those two. Yeah, I'll look at those. Two. Um, I'm gonna have a few more whenever you have a. Um, the Fallout New Vegas game on the front. Uh, if you move over to the right, far right. Yeah, that works too. Um, Are these ones you're considering or not? These are ones I'm considering, yeah. Um, let's see. So not these, right? Not these, no. Okay, um, I might be interested in those. Alright, well, these three I need to find numbers for. Okay. These three, I can do them for eight. Eight total? Eight each. Eight each? Mm -hmm. Okay. And obviously the other ones are a dollar each. The, the two. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll pass on the first two. Like, no, I'll keep those for sure. That one I'd do if it was five, but eight's a bit too much. That one I'll hard pass on. And then this one, I guess I'll take it for eight. Unless you could do something on it. But. This is the one that you said you're okay with? I'm okay with it. It's a little higher than what I'd like, but, you know, I figure if I can make a, a bundle, that I'll make it a little more enticing, so... That one I'm good on. I don't need it. <laughs> and then the other three, if depending on what they're going for. I can do this one for seven. That's fine. Yeah. And then those, if you can, whatever, whatever, depends on what they're worth. But. Okay. Okay. I know they used to have like a little sheet on there. They went through because they put them on each one. Oh. They put the sheet down and then he did he did not put anything on this. Okay. Well, that one's enough. I'll give them four. Okay. Could you do like four? Five is the lowest. <laughs> um, I'm good on those then. Five's a bit higher than I'd like on those. Just. Those two and the dollar ones, yeah. All right, sounds good. All right, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you.
we got a few things. I'll talk about them in a sec. Okay, so it has been a while since I went to that particular pawn shop. And you could tell because, yeah, they didn't really have much. Uh, the last several times I went, they always seemed to have an abundant supply of PS4 and, I guess, last time PS5 games. This time, those were almost completely gone, and all they had were a whole bunch of Xbox. Which is fine with me, because that's usually what I like to pick up in order to keep it. And I originally pulled out a handful of games, and uh, some of them were kind of in the borderline range as far as, like, whether they were worth grabbing or not. But I figured, well, it entirely depends on how much they're asking for. They basically just went for a flat five. Now, what's interesting is one of the games, uh, originally they quoted me three, $8 for three of them. One was Madden, which I hard passed on, and honestly, I shouldn't have even looked at because, of course, it's not worth anything. Um, and then the other two were ones that I was interested in picking up, but one was for the collection, and it wasn't worth really much. The other one was worth trading in. The nice thing is I ended up getting both for five. And on top of that, they had a couple games that it didn't really matter what they were. I had to grab them because of the price. So we're going to start off. Lego Ninjago, the game on the 3DS, because yes, it was a dollar. You don't see stuff for a dollar at pawn shops very often unless it's like broken tech. So to find a Nintendo 3DS game, and it's not a terrible one either, it's a Ninjago Lego game, for a dollar, I'm not going to say no. Just, just not. The other one is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince on the DS, also for a dollar. Again, both of those are just, it's a dollar. Why would you say no? Even if, you know, they're not the greatest of games because they're on the DS or the 3DS, it's worth picking up for a dollar. And then here are the two bigger games I grabbed. Now this one you might laugh because it's a free to play game, but it does have some cool like inserts and stuff. And I figure, you know, if maybe, one day it'll be like Fortnite, where finding the physical copy is like a holy grail. Um, so you never know. But I have Rocket League, the collector's edition on the Xbox One. Obviously, this is a free-to-play game, so it really doesn't matter if you have a disc or not. But I figured I'd grab it because I don't have it in the collection. And, you know, I've played Rocket League once or twice. It's a pretty good game. Uh, five bucks. Now, this is the one. Originally, they asked for eight. I got them down to seven, and then they ended up selling it to me for five, which I don't know what happened there, but I guess they just went with it, which... Five makes it a outstanding pickup because of how much money I can trade it in for. We have Call of Duty Vanguard on the Xbox One. This is the Xbox One version, of course, of the soon to be not most recent Call of Duty. It's now, it's soon gonna be the second most recent because Modern Warfare 2 comes out literally a week from the time I'm recording this, less than a week actually. So this game's worth 13 bucks in trade in at GameStop. So I figured, you know what? If I could get it cheap enough, I might as well. And I got it for five. So I'm going to make eight bucks in credit off of this game, which basically means I got Rocket League for and the two uh, dollar games for free. That's why we do it, folks. That's why we do these trade ins and why we hunt at pawn shops, not only to find good stuff you wouldn't normally find, but also so you can get the stuff you want for free or close to free. So pretty happy with the pickups anyway let me head home and uh we'll continue this adventure all right so i just got out of gamestop i went there after i picked up call of duty vanguard to try to trade it in and what's cool is apparently they're doing a promotion this week where if you trade towards specific games you get 40 percent extra so i actually ended up getting 16 dollars 80 for vanguard which means you know i gained four bucks on everything that I paid for. So not bad at all. Um, so yeah, I made up for the money that I spent and added four bucks to my total, which was nice. So what did I do with that credit? Well, put five down towards Pokemon because that's coming out in a few weeks and I wanna make sure I have it as close to paid off as possible, ideally with trades. And I picked up two items, one of which was on clearance. And of course, GameStop's clearance thing is pretty epic right now. Uh, where everything that's marked as clearance, you get an additional 50% off. Now, they did have some games, and I think I mentioned this the last time I went into GameStop, but the games they have are nothing worth writing home about. Easily the best thing that I could have found was that Switch copy of Monarch that I got for 20 bucks. That was a really good pickup. 
but everything else they got is like old sports games and stuff that just isn't worth grabbing but i did pick up something because it was on sale this week because they're doing kind of a halloween sale and games that are considered spooky are up to 50 percent off so i grabbed this mostly because i feel like it's probably cheaper than even buying an upgrade from the playstation store and plus i get a better case so i'll take it that's stranding the director's cut on the ps5 uh, as you can see it's marked down to 25. normally this is like a 50 dollars game um but i got it for 25 and even less than that because of the trade-in so pretty happy with that and then i also got this pretty sweet looking halo master chief sign uh it was marked at 23 it's clearance now so it was 11 bucks i don't know where i'm gonna put it in my room yet but i'll find a place for it and, but you know it's always cool to have a a neat little gamey memento to add to your collection so yeah pretty happy um and all that for not doing a whole lot of work by trading in some stuff so now i have to make it a goal to try to find some more stuff to trade in by next weekend because this 40 percent bonus is only going towards next weekend so i figure you know if i can find a bunch of stuff to trade in i might try to in order to uh save as much money on pokemon as possible so we'll see what happens it is another day and it is time for a pickup and a condition report all right so i got a game from amazon that was on discount that i think looks interesting don't know much about it but it looks cool so i figured and it was cheap so I figured I'd grab it. And that of course is Astra Ascending on the PS5. Looks like a beautiful art style JRPG. Looks interesting. Um, the disc is loose, which I don't like, but this was like 20 bucks and not too, too bad for a somewhat obscure looking PS5 game. So gladly add that to the collection. Now we got the good stuff from GameStop. I got three games, one of which is a brand new Switch game. And then I have two pre-owned games, one for PS5 and one for Switch. So let's see what condition these come in. I think this is the PS5 game. That feels like an authentic case. Yes, it is. And the disc is loose. That's not what I like to see, but everything else is here and it's in pretty good shape. We have Returnal on the PS5. This is one of the PS5 exclusives I did not already own. And this one looks good. I've heard good things, although I've also heard it's very hard. Um, but it was on sale for 30 bucks. So I figured, you know what? Might as well grab it. So that's a good start. Next game. This feels like an authentic Switch case. I hope it is. It is! Yes! Yes! Okay, so I had this game a while ago. I never played it. I traded it in because it was worth a lot in trade-in and it just will not go down in price like it stays high pretty much the whole time well i found it on sale for 35 which is the best price i've seen this game at so i figured you know what might as well grab it and i got it complete marvel ultimate alliance 3 the black order on the switch of course if you don't know this this game is kind of weird it is a game originally this the marvel ultimate alliance series came out on the xbox 360 ps3 and wii this game is published by nintendo whereas the original was published by activision it's developed by koei technivo and team ninja when the original was developed by i believe it was uh raven studios and it's exclusive to the switch so odd to make a random third entry of a series that hasn't really been around exclusive on the switch i don't know either way i'm excited to have this and i'm excited it's complete that's awesome and then obviously the last game should be brand new and it is yay we have ai the somnum files on the switch this is nirvana initiative um i wanted to try this out on game pass but apparently it just left and i found it on sale i think it was for 40 dollars Again, this is a Spike Chunsoft game, and it's a game that doesn't typically go on sale, so I figured, you know what, I might as well grab a new copy on the Switch. Now I have to track down the original, because the original is really hard to find and expensive. So, GameStop really came through. Three for three. We got two complete games, and then a brand new sealed one. 
So awesome. Very, very happy with those pickups. Great start. Back at GameStop to pick up one of the biggest games of the year that I probably won't play for a while. Oh yeah, let's do it. All right, it is time for the end recap as well as the reveal of what I picked up from GameStop. And it's pretty obvious what I picked up at GameStop. We're just gonna go ahead and get that out of the way now. And then we'll talk about the other stuff that I picked up during the week. And this was a pretty, pretty good week. Not quite as big as last week, but we got some quality stuff to add to the collection. Stuff I'm pretty excited to add to the collection and uh, good stuff. So of course I went to GameStop. And if you didn't know, this is the end of October and uh, a certain annual release that comes out every single end of October, early November, just came out and I am a sucker for it. So I buy it every year. I'm probably not gonna play it for a bit because I haven't beaten the first one, but I had enough credit to get it full paid. So I figured, you know what, why not? So I went to GameStop and I picked up Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox Series X. Of course, this is the cross-gen edition so I can play it on Xbox One and series x yep it's call of duty you know what it is by now i'm i freely admit i play call of duty games every year the campaigns are really fun i don't really play the multiplayer but i play the single player campaigns and they're pretty solid so yeah pretty happy with that um but yeah i got the game now gamestop also was giving away a bunch of bonuses with it so in addition to the game itself i also got this cool steelbook which i will probably put the game in uh i do like me a good steelbook and this is a pretty nice one so happy to add that to the collection which means i have an extra case which is cool <clears throat> and then i haven't unwrapped it yet i'm probably not going to yet because i don't know when i'm going to put it up or where i'm going to put it up but i have a call of duty poster so apparently there were multiple versions I just asked the uh, the store associate, hey, pick me which one you think is the coolest, and he picked this one. I don't know what's on it, but I bet it's pretty cool. So yeah, got a poster, got a steel book, and of course my Call of Duty game. Pretty happy with that. But I picked up some other stuff as well throughout the week. And um, we're gonna start off with my first GameStop purchase, um, where I went to GameStop, picked up a couple things. I mostly put some money on Call of Duty and a few other things, but I did pick up Death Stranding, the director's cut on the PS5. I mostly picked this up because hey, it was on sale for thank for Halloween week because they're doing like a spooky game discount. And I'm like, you know what? I have the original Death Stranding, but I don't have the director's cut. And I'd rather play, since I haven't played it yet, I figure I might as well play the, the best version on the PS5 with a dedicated PS5 version. So I picked up Death Stranding for 14 bucks out of pocket plus some credit and it is worth 23 so pretty happy with that also i did forget to mention call of duty of course paid 70 and it's worth 70 because it's a brand new game then i went pawn hunting and i went to value pawn and i did pick up a couple things one game i traded in which is part of how i got death stranding and the other stuff i kept nothing crazy but considering how little i paid for these i think it was worth it we're gonna start off with Rocket League on the Xbox One. It's a physical copy of Rocket League. I know that is kind of silly because this is a free to play game, but I figured, you know, maybe one day, kind of like the physical copy of Fortnite, this might become valuable at some point. So I figured I'd grab it, paid five bucks, and it is worth 12. So it actually has some value for once. And then in addition to that, they had a couple dollar DS games. And I'm not gonna say no to a game for a dollar. Even if it's for a platform I don't technically have right now. And these are not like the highest of quality games, but you know what? They're a dollar. They're definitely worth more than that. So we're gonna start off with Lego Ninjago uh, Nindroids on the 3DS. Uh, as you can see, I still have it in the bag. It was a dollar. It's a Lego game and it's on the 3DS. I'm sure it's at least playable. Paid a dollar, it's worth six. And then this one actually surprised me a bit. Uh, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince on the DS, also a dollar. Uh, I don't expect much out of it because it's a movie game on the DS, but you never know. What I didn't realize at all was I only paid a dollar and that's worth 10. So that one actually has some good value, which is surprising to me. 
Did not expect that at all, but hey, that's cool. Next, we're gonna go to Amazon, where I picked up another PS5 game. I've really done a good job of padding out my PS5 collection in a pretty short period of time. Uh, and this one looks really interesting. It's another JRPG, because even though I haven't played a lot of the JRPGs that I have, I have a pretty impressive JRPG collection. I do like them, they're good games. So I will hopefully get to these eventually. We have Astria Ascending on the PS5. This was brand new and sealed, but the disc was loose, so I had to open it and put the disc back in place. Uh, it looks really cool, has a very unique, like hand-drawn looking art style, and I think it'll be a fun game to play. I paid 23 and it's worth 24, so it's worth slightly more than what I paid for it. And then we have my three games I picked up from GameStop Online. And the reason I picked up these three games, all of them were on sale. One of them you don't see very often, at a reasonable price. One of them was again on sale because of the Halloween sale that GameStop was doing. And then one, <clears throat> I wanted to play it when it was on Game Pass. I missed it and I figured, you know, I might as well just grab a copy, especially because it was on sale. So we're going to start off with Returnal on the PS5. Again, this is a staple PS5 game made by Housemark, which is one of the newest PlayStation Studios. I've heard very good things about this game. I've also heard it's very hard. I'm sure I'm gonna suck at it, but I'll definitely check it out. It looks interesting. Figured I'd grab it. I paid $30 and it's worth 20. So this one was a little bit of a loss, but that's okay. That's still cheaper than where you what you normally find this game for. Next up, and this one's the one I'm the most excited to add to the collection. We have Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, the Black Order on the Switch. Um, I had this game at one point and traded it in because it was worth a lot, and now I own it again. This game rarely goes down in price. It is a Nintendo published game, so that makes sense, but you rarely see this game at a reasonable price, and this time I finally did. I only paid 35 for this, and it's worth 33 So, again, a little bit of a loss, but you don't see this game for cheap, so I figured I have to grab it, and I got lucky and it came complete. Very, very happy with that, so. Last game, and this is the, the brand new sealed one, and it did come sealed, which is nice, and I've heard good things about it, so I'm very excited to try it out. We have AI, the Somnium Files, the Nirvana Initiative on the Switch. Uh, looks like a detective, like, mystery type game from Spike Chunsoft. Looks cool. The first game is real expensive, so I'm going to have to track that down at some point, but this is the second game. It looks cool. Paid 40 because it was on sale and it's worth 50. So this one actually is worth more than what I paid for it, which is nice. And there you go, a nice collection of new additions to the collection. We got some lower dollar stuff, we got Call of Duty, and we got some new PS5 games. A little bit of everything, can't complain. That's going to do it for this episode of The Bargain Game Hunter. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you're new around here, be sure to sit, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. That way you know new videos drop. And again, we are on the road to hitting a thousand subscribers and getting our watch time up so we can become a YouTube partner. Uh, I really, really want this channel to hit that mark. Oddly enough, even though my main channel hit the subscriber mark, they're nowhere near hitting the mark on watch time. This channel is actually very close to hitting it for watch time. So I kind of am pivoting towards this channel. So if you want to see me do even more stuff on this channel, um, Watch more videos. Uh, check out my older game hunting videos because there's some cool pickups that you probably missed in some of the older videos. Um, and of course, check out the new ones every week. And of course, our ongoing series with Ghostwire Tokyo. Yeah, good stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next week on the Bargain Game Hunter. Bye-bye.